Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today is really exciting because I'm going to be doing a review, first impression slash tutorial on the new Kylie Cosmetics a Birthday Bundle. I actually bought two of them to give it away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win this and a camera and makeup and like a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be giving away because we actually just reached 700,000 subscribers, which is kind of like mind blowing. So I wanted to do something special for you guys. So I'm going to be giving away a lot of cool stuff. With that being said, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win. And let's go ahead and jump into the review. I always enjoy reviewing Kylie Cosmetics because I feel like her packaging is so pretty, so feminine and girly and it just fits my style. So when I saw she was coming out with a birthday bundle, I was like, I'm gonna get it just because I really love how it looks and I wanted to try out her new liquid lipsticks and the shades and I did end up trying them throughout the video so you guys will see that. So I ended up buying the bundle which cost me $175 and inside you get the eye eyeshadow palette which is the Kylie birthday palette which looks like this I'm going to briefly talk about each product that came in the bundle so the first thing that I got was the eyeshadow blush and highlight palette it's called I want it all I really love the packaging because it's that glitter texture but the glitter doesn't come off the palette which is really nice and then it is a cardboard packaging and then you have a mirror inside and then over here you have nine eyeshadows you have some mattes, you have a metallic shade, you have this shimmery, pretty highlight shade. Honestly, when I first saw this palette, I was like, I'm not really gonna use pink eyeshadow. Like, I'm not really crazy about it. But like, now using it on my eyes, I feel like I can create a lot of different looks with it because you do have some transition shades up here, and then you have a matte black eyeshadow. I feel like as long as I have a matte black eyeshadow, honestly, I feel like I'll be able to like work the palette. And then over here you have a matte pink blush. If you are fair to light skin tones, I feel like you would really like this blush. And then over here you have a highlighter called Confetti. This is one of my favorite highlights that she's actually released. I've tried a lot of her highlights, actually purchased all of her highlighters, and I do like them. I just feel like they're a little bit more on the drier side, so you do have to like scrape off the top to actually get the product to show up on your skin. This one is very pigmented. It did have a bit of a fallout. I really liked how the highlight performed on my face. It is very pigmented. It did have a little bit of a fallout, so just keep that in mind. The eyeshadows as well, I did really like them. They were easy to work with. Um, the only thing that I do want to say is that these matte eyeshadows up here did have a tiny bit of a fallout but nothing intense overall I do like the palette it is very feminine and girly and if you're somebody that likes to play around with these type of colors then I feel like you would really like it I do love the packaging and I like that she included a mirror in the palette just because it makes it easy for you to do your makeup the next thing that I got in the bundle is the lip kit in the mini version I love these mini lip kits just because they're so easy to throw in your purse and take with you everywhere and sometimes I like taking like five, six lipsticks in my purse just because I really like to have options. So this is what the mini lip kit looks like. I actually really like that she included a variety of different shades here. So inside this kit you get six mini liquid lipsticks and you have a mixture of like nudes, bright bold colors and then you also get a dark like vampy shade in there which I do really like that she included but they did dry up really nicely on the lips it didn't feel uncomfortable I actually really liked it so I think this is one of my favorite things from the bundle that I got just because I love these colors talking about the kit the next thing that I got in the bundle is the Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick and lip liner kit and this is in the shade 20, which is the shade that I'm wearing on my lips today. In the lip kit, you actually do get the lip liner, which I used on my lips today. And I love this color. I feel like this shade reminds me a lot of like Lolita by Kat Von D for some reason. This is definitely more like in the brown or purple-ish family. And then the next thing that I got in the bundle is Cherry Pie. And Cherry Pie is actually a lip gloss. Let's open it. Okay, this color is absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminded me of the color that I use at the end of the video. You see, like, once I jump into the tutorial. But it's such a pretty, like, bright coral raspberry shade. It is absolutely beautiful. I wish they would have created this same shade in, like, a matte liquid lipstick. I would be all over it. And then the next thing that I got in the bundle is another gloss. 
and this one is in the shade Cupcake. I actually really like this shade. It reminds me a lot of like one of the shades from the KKW and Kylie Jenner collab. I feel like this one definitely shows up a little bit more dusty on my lips, which I do like. Just because I feel like dusty, like warmer colors look better against my skin tone. And then the last thing that I got in the bundle is the Kylie Cosmetics Loose Powder Highlighter. This I was most excited about because I've seen a lot of people use it and it looks so beautiful on. So I really wanted to get my hands on the gold one, but it sold out so quickly. So this is in the shade Queen. When the gold one comes back in stock, I would definitely be buying it. I actually didn't try this on my face today, but you know what? I'm actually going to apply some to my face. Just because I did try it on the back of my hand and I did really like it. The only thing I noticed was that it is very glittery. So if you're not into like glittery highlighters, then I feel like you won't really like it. But let's see. I do have highlight on so it, it might just like emphasize. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah, this is really nice, especially if you want your highlight to show up in pictures. You first apply your highlight and then go in with this loose powder and then just like set it with it. And I feel like it'll just make it like much brighter. But personally, I think I will love this, especially to film or to take pictures, just because it shows up so nice on camera. So definitely will be purchasing that in gold once it comes back in stock. And then the last thing that I got in the bundle was the cosmetic bag. I love it. I have the silver one. I got it for her holiday collection and I use it all the time. So I'm excited to add this one to my collection, especially because it's pink. This is a perfect size to fit in my purse as well. So that is everything that I got in the bundle. I will link prices, links to the actual products in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So to set the concealer on my eyelids, I'm going in with buttercream frosting and I'm taking the Real Techniques B04 brush. I'm just going to lightly tap it and then tap off the excess and then just apply this all over my lid just because I want the colors to like show up on my lid and um, I don't want the concealer to move from there. So I'm taking Party Time which is this really pretty rosy shade and I'm just going to work this into my crease. I did want to use this shade on my crease though because I feel like this color looks so pretty against brown eyes. So I'm just going to blend this into my crease. And this brush is amazing. It's part of the new blue collection by Real Techniques. If you guys haven't seen it, it's available on the website right now. I'm going in with Forever Young and the same brush. And I'm just going to work this on the outer parts of my crease. And this color had absolutely no fallout. By the way, do you guys like it when I do really close up tutorials like this? Because I'm thinking about buying a new lens. Just because the one that I'm using right now, I can obviously do the close-up, but it's not as clear and um, the quality is not as amazing as if I was filming like zoomed out. So let me know in the comments below. On my lid, I want to go in with Birthday Girl, which is this really pretty shimmery champagne shade and it does have like silver glitter in it. The glitter is not chunky, which I do really like. I'm taking my Real Techniques Concealer Brush. Now taking my Real Techniques Eyeliner Brush, I'm going in with Midnight, which is a matte black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply this really close to my lashes. I have my eyelash drawing here, so I'm just going to go in with New Year, New Me. And this is a metallic eyeshadow, so I was a little scared to like apply it under my lower lashes. But honestly, it didn't have any fallout at all. So I'm just going in and I'm just going to apply this really close to my bottom lashes. I also want to extend it a little bit up just to connect it with that pink eyeshadow up here. But look how pretty it looks. I have my lashes on. I'm going to go in with Midnight, which is that black matte eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply this really close under my bottom lashes. I do want to highlight the inner corners of my eyes just to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm going in with the highlighter that comes in the palette. It's called Confetti. This is more of like a pinky, peachy highlight. I'm just using this tiny brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to pop this in the inner corner. I'm going in with my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. You know what? I actually like this color on my skin tone. Oh, this actually looks really nice. I wasn't expecting to like it just because I typically don't lean towards like 
light pink shades whenever I'm applying blushes. But I feel like because this one is a matte cool tone blush, it actually looks really nice, especially with the makeup. I feel like it all blends in. So I'm going to go in and apply my highlighter. So I'm using Confetti, the same one that I use on the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just going to dip it in. It does have a little bit of a fallout. Do you see that? Um, so just make sure you tap off your brush. And I'm just going to oops, apply this on the highest points of my cheeks. Oh, this is pigmented. It's actually very pretty. And it does have like that wet effect on my skin, which I do like. I'm actually going to go in with, what is this shade? All Nighter, which is this bright coral shade. And I'm going to apply it on my lips just because I wanted more of a matte shade. Oh, wow. This color is beautiful. The funny thing is that usually these colors make my teeth look yellow, but this one actually makes my teeth look super white, like. <laughs> so this is the final look. I actually really like how it turned out. I'm actually digging like these pinky or raspberry looks, especially for the fall time. I've been wearing a lot of like warm tones and I'm like trying to like stay away from warm tones, but like I keep coming back to it and like more warm palettes keep coming in and I'm just like, oh my God, I just can't help it. I have to use it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My two favorite things in this video were definitely the Lip Kit in 20, which is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. And then the loose highlighter. I feel like I'm going to be getting such a good use out of this and I can't wait until gold comes back in stock because I will be purchasing it. Okay, so now for the giveaway, I'm going to be announcing the rules and then we'll get into like what you actually be winning, which I'm like really excited about. Okay, so the rules are super easy. I wanted to make it like as easy as possible just because I hate complicated giveaways. Okay, so all you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscribe to my vlog channel, follow me on Instagram and comment down below your name, your email, and what are your favorite videos to watch here on my channel. And that is pretty much it. I will be asking for proof of everything once you are selected as the winner. So I'm just going to ask you for screenshots, just proving that you are subscribed and you did follow all the rules. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are excited. So the first giveaway will be a Sony A5100. This is what I use for all my selfie pictures. I use this for vlogs. I use this for a lot of different things. And I figured you guys will also find it really helpful if you got one or if you wanted to like get into YouTube or you just wanted to like amp up your selfie game or you wanted to start vlogs. This camera will be perfect for you. So we went to buy it today and I can't wait for one of you guys to win it. The second giveaway will be a bundle for the Kylie Jenner Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection you will be winning the entire bundle not this one a brand new one that i have in that room <laughs> but i am really excited to give it away to you guys because this is actually one of the prettiest collections that she has released the next giveaway there's going to be seven winners is going to be for its snapchat sunglasses so one person will win these snapchat sunglasses and then Four people will win a $100 gift card to Sephora. And you guys know that the holidays are coming and um, all the cool makeup is about to come out. So I hope you guys are excited. This is the biggest giveaway that I've done in like forever. So I'm really excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support, all of your love, all of your comments the follow, the subscribe, everything. I'm like really like grateful for all of you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one very soon. Bye.